Addy, and I'm keeping you in the loop. Welcome to the last broadcast of the first quarter. We've worked very hard on this broadcast to bring you the best one yet. Most of you have heard of JV and Varsity's game against Notice last Thursday. Well, what you've heard about it is true. We rocked. I would say Notice is our best competitor and keeps us on our toes. It was touch and go there for a while in both games, but we prevailed. Great job for pushing through both JV and Varsity. In other school news, we have fall break coming up. Can I get a woo woo? I can't hear you. Well, we also got October 4th and 5th off for teacher and service days. I'd like to draw your attention to these days. We know of them, but we do not really know about what teachers do there or what they wear. We just know that we don't have to come to school and our minds wander. So to solve this dilemma, I've gone to some teachers here at Compass to explain what they do, what they wear, and on days when they are being taught, are they scared of their teachers like we are of them? Let's go find out. Hi, so for teacher in-service days, uh, it just varies. Uh, there's different agendas for different in-service days. Sometimes we're being taught by a presenter, and other times the in-service days are set aside for teachers to collaborate. And so the in-service days coming up this week on Thursday and Friday are more the collaboration style, where teachers will be able to get together with other teachers, which is something we don't normally have time to do during you know, the regular school uh, schedule. So we'll be able to collaborate and talk about, primarily our focus this time is to talk about the Common Core State Standards, which are the brand new standards that are coming down. Um, and so we'll be working on how to implement those. And uh, one of the questions was, what are teachers able to wear? And we can just wear casual clothes. So, you know, teachers do actually own jeans. And so teachers might wear blue jeans or shorts even at the in-services. So it's a little more casual than our normal school day. And another question was, um, do we get nervous? So like how students sometimes have a lot of uh, pressure from teachers, do we feel that same way? And I personally don't at all. It's pretty relaxed atmosphere. Uh, I don't feel like there's a lot of you know, stress or tension or anything. It's just really a great time to be able to collaborate with my peers. Uh, however, I have to admit that sometimes I've been the presenter and I do get nervous then when I have to teach other teachers. So I get a little nervous, but it's all good. So, thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Gatfield, for giving us more information about teacher and service days. Now we actually know what you guys are doing when we're at home. This has been Maddie, and I'm setting off for the first last time. Now let's go to Ashley. <laughs> Thank you, Maddie. That brings up a great point. Fall break is coming. Well, we know what the teachers will be doing over fall break, but what about the students? Will you guys be training for that special sport? Or will you guys just be hanging out with some of your great friends? Or will you be making a video of a lizard doing push-ups on the side of the road? Well, I've gone around the school and asked a few students what they will be doing over fall break. Here they are. Hi AA Beaters, this is Ashley here with Bryce Stevenson asking him what he's going to be doing over the fall break. So Bryce, what will you be doing over the fall break? Uh, let's see, I, I'm probably going to be hanging out with some of my best friends, um, probably go to the haunted world to get scared pretty much, and then maybe stay home and watch a chick flick, I don't really know, I mean my brother rents weird mo movies for him and his girlfriend to watch, so I mean, yeah. Well, thank you, Bryce. Now let's go on to the next interviewee. Hi, Aviators. I'm here with Kara, asking her about what she's going to be doing for her fall break. So, Kara, what are you doing for the fall break? Well, I know the volleyball girls have a game on Friday against Liberty at Liberty, and then Monday we have a game, a uh, home game for against Idaho City. And then I know that I need to get, start working on long-term projects. Well, thank you. Now on to the next interviewee. Hi, Aviators. I'm here with Sam Johnson asking him what he does over fall break. So, Sam, what do you do over fall break? Uh, I hang out with my family and my dad, and I play a lot of video games with my dad, and I don't do any sports whatsoever. Well, that's very interesting. Thank you, Sam. This has been Ashley Weinberg with The World. Don't you hate it when people ask you random questions? This week I 
thought that I'd give you some pretty awesome ideas to do over this fall break. The first one is a corn maze at Farmstead in Boise, Idaho. This year's theme is voting with your feet. Go to the right and you're not only voting for Romney, but also walking through his head. Sounds weird and potentially hard. I don't know about you, but I will definitely be going sometime this year. Prices range anywhere from $7.95 to $10.95, depending on when and what you do. For those of you out there who love Psych as much as I do, but are unable to get it on TV, the new episodes will soon be out on Netflix. More specifically, or as specific as I could find, sometime in October. It will start out on season six, and from what I've heard from my friends lucky enough to get it on TV, it's as amazing as the ones before it. Another large thing during fall is the pumpkins. Many people enjoy decorating pumpkins for Halloween. Personally, although I've tried and made some awesome designs, on Halloween night, they always get smashed. Hopefully yours last longer than mine have. Another amazing thing about pumpkins is pumpkin pie. I always know it's fall time when I'm able to eat pumpkin pie with my friends and family. Well, aviators, I hope you find a way to celebrate this fall break. This has been Sari Simpson with Aviator TV, and I'm signing off. A big city with rock and roll, good people, good times. Right on, rock and roll, Tim Smith, it's fun to say, Tim Smith, yeah, Tim Smith will make you do the...